Welcome, this video is going to be covering linear and nonlinear functions. Here you're going to be able to identify functions on a table, graph, and an equation. First of all, I would like you to look and you're going to compare and contrast the left hand side to the right hand side. Some things that you should notice. is that this looks like a straight line. So that's why this we are going to be calling linear. Likewise, this curves. Sorry. It curves. Therefore, we call this nonlinear. On a table, we can see this by asking the question is the rate of change constant or is it the same? Take a look at this chart. The x here is growing by 4 or by 2. 2 goes to 4 by 2 by adding 2. 4 goes to 6 by adding 2 and likewise so we see how x is changing at a constant rate of adding 2 likewise y it's changing by subtracting 15 that subtracting 15 is constant throughout so we call this linear because the rate of change is constant likewise if we see here Look at how x here is changing, again, the same amount by 3. However, if we, if we take a look at the change in y, 1 goes to 16 by adding 15, 16 goes to 49 by adding 33, 49 goes to 100 by adding 51. Here, we call this nonlinear. The reason why it's considered nonlinear is because the rate of change is not, is not, the same. Sometimes you might hear this as linear has a constant slope, whereas the nonlinear has no constant slope. What I would like you to do here is try by identifying is the graph linear or nonlinear. The first one, you would say it is linear because add by five, add by five, the y is changing by subtracting four constantly. Try to do this, the table's just flipped horizontally. See how it's changing. What's happening here? Is that constant? Try that. Here's the answer. We'd say it's nonlinear because although the, y, the x is changing by plus 2, the y is changing differently because it's adding 2 then add 6 and this is add 10. Now I would like you to visually tell if this is linear or nonlinear by asking the question is the graph a straight line? The easiest way to tell is looking um, if it has a straight edge. So the first one we would say it's linear. The second one um, you see how it curves here and here it would be nonlinear. And likewise, this one, it, it looks like it's straight, but it's going down, which still makes it linear. So graphically, when you ask yourself if it's linear or nonlinear, is asking yourself this very simple question is, is it a straight line or not? Well, I, what I would like you to do here is now um, practice and to determine if this is linear or not by looking at it. Again, ask yourself the question, is it a straight line? Try it. Here are the solutions. The first one, it is linear because it is a straight line. 
horizontally. The second one, it looks like it's going straight down. So that is linear. And the third one, it looks like it's curving. It's bending. So you would say it's nonlinear. Next, this is the looking at an equation to see if it's linear or nonlinear. Please understand before we do this, the property of the exponent. x to the first power is just x. x to the zero is one. So the question you wanna ask yourself in the format y equals, x is raised to a power of one or zero. And does x appear in the numerator? Here's the first one, y equals x plus four. x here is raised to the power of what? Power of one. And x is in the numerator because it's on top, okay? So this, you would say it is linear. This is the standard equation of y equals mx plus b. This is the equation of a straight line. Next, what about y equals six divided by x, or you could have seen it written like y is equal to six bar x, okay? Is x, is x raised to the power of one? Yes, it is right here, but here it is on the bottom, okay? So this is nonlinear, okay? Because in reality, this, when it's in the denominator, can be written as, to bring it to the top, it, it looks like this, x to the power of negative one when you bring it on top. That's why this is considered nonlinear. y is equal to one half x. Is x raised to the power of one? Yes, and is it in the numerator, which is on top of the fraction? Yes, so we call that linear. Here, y equals three x plus one. Is it raised to the power of one? No, here it's raised to the power of three. So we call that nonlinear. Lastly, y equals to four. Hmm, very interesting. Where's the x here? Well, technically, here, the there's a zero in front of an x plus four. You don't see it because zero times x is just zero. Okay, this is considered linear. If you graph this, it should look something like y equals to four is like right here. Okay, it's a horizontal line, so this is linear. So what I would like you to do now is to identify if it's linear or nonlinear. The first one, that is linear because the power is one and the x is in the numerator. Y is equal to x squared plus two. That is nonlinear. This, you're going to see it behaves like a parabola, it curves. Y is equal to three X over two plus one. Sometimes you might also see this as Y is equal to three over two X plus one. And again, you're correct, it would be linear. Fourth one, Y is equal to two divided by x plus five, you could have seen it like y is equal to two over x plus five. You're correct, it is nonlinear because the x is in the denominator. All right, to wrap this up, here are some pointers to keep in mind. A table is linear if the rate of change is constant because there's a common difference and there is also a constant slope. A graph is linear if it is a straight line. And an equation is linear if the power of x is either one or zero and it appears in the numerator.